Hello, beautiful souls. This is Katarina Satori, and this is the live stream dedicated to any woman that has implants and any woman that knows a woman who has implants or considers implants. So this is going to be all about the explant journey that I am on. And I want, wanted to do this live stream because so many women ask me, they said, Katarina, can you share your story? Can you share, um, you know, the why? And I, I'm going to check on my phone, you guys, to make sure that the, that the video is clear. It looks pretty clear. All right. All right. So I'm going to share this video also on other channels. This is going to be a live stream, just like a genuine conversation with you guys. I wanted to share with you just the, just the insight and the research that I've done and the reason why I am going so public with my story is because I wished I saw this like kind of live stream five years ago, three years ago, four years ago, right? So um, welcome, darlings. Welcome, welcome. Good to be with you. Because, you know, here's the thing. A lot of times women, we do this thing. We suffer in silence. How many of you can relate? And I got this term from, um, I went to see, I went to see my, um, you know, like the person who does my beauty treatments. And she has this amazing clinic, all kind of options. And, and she said something that really stopped me in my tracks. She says, women are, women suffer in silence. And I took that in. And I was like, this is so true. So me sharing my story, you guys, is one of my, um, I would say, one of my attempts to break that silent suffering that so many women are going through and they don't know what's going on with their bodies, you know, because the medical doctors, the majority of them will say it's all in your head. All these symptoms I imagined, right, you guys? Welcome, welcome, darlings. So I just wanted to share with you, you know, how I arrived to my decision and in hope that it will, will bring clarity and also empathy and understanding for somebody who may be considering making the same choice. And um, yeah, so that's the, that's the intention, you guys, because, you know, uh, the implants industry is huge huge just last year over 400,000 women in the US alone US alone did some kind of implant surgery whether it's breast implants or butt implants all kind of implants right so the the problem with the industry you guys because it's such a big money right it's a huge huge money industry like an average surgery you're looking at seventy five hundred ten thousand dollars right so imagine four hundred thousand women going through such procedure the challenge is was that most of the doctors will say that the risks are minimal minimal right that's exactly what what i heard when i went to do my my surgery the risk were minimal the implants are generally safe and you know they give you tons of documents to sign but of course you're just like so excited about this new experience this new body that you're gonna have that you don't look deeply into the issue. So I'm going to share with you guys just a little story of how, you know, my journey began. And then um, I wanted to share with you like the symptoms that you can identify and um, what are the steps, right? So the story, the symptoms and the steps. So I got my breast implants around 10 years ago, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right, Mara. Yeah, 10 years ago, you guys, I, you know, I was, I was fresh off the divorce. And when you go through divorce, your self-esteem takes a huge hit. No matter if you have a lot of tools, you don't have a lot of tools at that time. You know, I was just beginning my, I was just beginning my uh, healing journey and spiritual awakening journey. 
So I got into modeling industry, like a bikini modeling, swimsuit, fitness competition right after my divorce. And, you know, all you see is all the women have these perfect bodies and a lot of them have their implants, right? Welcome, darlings. Welcome. So, you know, I just, when I, when I saw, when I, my best friend went through the surgery first and I saw her breasts, like literally after two weeks, she, she got them done. And I was like, give me the number of your surgeon. I want it right now. And this is, this is one of the things, you know, never make decisions like that on impulsivity. So this was a huge lesson for me. It was a very impulsive decision driven by the looks, you know, very little research. And I called the surgeon, scheduled the surgery. Literally at the end of the month, I went under the knife, right? Um, the recovery was about, you know, you're looking about a month. And I remember you guys, I remember that sense of power that I felt when I walked on the street for the first time, you know, going from a small B to like a double D size, right? It, you just like feel like, wow, I tapped into this new level of feminine power, right? And this is, you know, this is, this is why women go under the knife, you guys, uh, because, you know, the culture, right, the culture, the media, the social media, the constant message is you are not enough as you are. So, you know, women ignore their intuition, women ignore their due diligence, you know, to chase this image, to chase this um, power, right? So this is, this is my story, and um, I was very happy with the way, the way, you know, my new breasts looked. I got them on top of the muscle. You basically can do either underneath of the muscle or on top of the muscle. And, um, and I loved everything. And it's so funny, you guys, because one of my, one of my male friends who dated a lot of women who had breast implants, he actually encouraged me to go bigger size. He's like, you know, all of my girlfriends in the past, they wake up from the surgery and they say, I wish I went bigger. So go bigger. So another lesson for all the male friends, <laughs> encourage your girlfriends and your lovers to do research before they go under the knife. So this is, you know, this is kind of like the story, you guys. But what I didn't know is that my body began rejecting them literally in the, in the matter of weeks. And I began experiencing lots of lots of symptoms that I didn't know how to recognize. But the main symptom you want to look to, whether it's in your body, if you have implants, if you have, you know, all kinds of implants, is the elevation of inflammation in your body. And if you know anything about health, right, the, the more your body is inflamed, the more your immune system is compromised, right? So your body is constantly living in a state of alert, right? Like alert, alert, alert. So your body is fighting this, you know, the foreign objects in your body by, you know, raising inflammation in your body. Raised inflammation in your body feeds bacteria, feeds mold, feeds all kind of like pathogens. So I didn't know any of that. And all I began to experience is uh, the number one symptom was the weight gain. And, and, you know, I was in the modeling industry at that time, fitness modeling had to be particular size, right? So um, probably about three months after the surgery, I started noticing the change in my weight. And I kept, you know, working out even more. Uh, people are joining here who I know are going through the same journey as me, you guys. I'm just sharing my story first. Then the second part of the live stream is symptoms. And then the third part is what are the steps that I'm taking on my excellent journey. So the very first symptom was weight gain. And it actually makes sense, you guys, because when your body has inflammation right like in inflammatory that's the number one symptom you're gonna experience you're gonna hold on to water you're gonna hold on to bloat and you're gonna hold on to weight 
right? And I studied uh, cell road detox detoxification. That was one of my one of my passions. And I constantly tried to take my inflammation down through fasting and juicing. And that's the only time I would feel better. But you know, you can't really live on juices for forever. So the moment I would start eating normal food. It, was, it would just mess with me. So welcome, you guys, for those of you who are joining new. So the very first uh, symptom was raised inflammation, weight gain. And it began really messing with my head and my body image because I would double my workouts, you know. I would train even harder, sometimes two hours a day, you know, weight training, cardio, split it into very clean diets, right? And I would start controlling my, uh, my weight yeah, uh, controlling my weight, and um, I will look through your, you guys, I'll look through your questions at the end, so please keep, keep them coming. But anyway, what, I'm, what, I, what I'd like to um, share with you guys, how one thing kind of leads to another. So for me, it started messing with my head, and I became really obsessive, trying to control my body size, trying to control my body image, really developed uh, pretty bad eating disorders, um, you know, and, um, and, 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 and then by working out so much and so obsessively, what I also did, I damaged my hormonal system, my adrenals and my thyroid. The moment you stress your adrenal system, which is adrenals are little glands that <clears throat> sit on top of your kidneys, and when you begin to damage your adrenals, you begin to damage your kidneys, your elimination system, right, you guys? You begin to damage your uh, adrenals, you begin to damage your thyroid. That connect adrenals and thyroid. It's like a sacred triangle of our hormonal system. And when you mess with that, it just takes, it's a long journey to recovery. It takes a long time to bring it on board, right? So, so you see how it's like this negative loop, one thing after another after another. And um, once your hormonal system becomes out of order, it affects your brain performance, right? How you, your ability to think clearly, your ability to communicate, your ability to, um, you know, stay focused. This is how, um, how, how incredible our body is designed, right? The moment you introduce something foreign into the body, all body system begin to go through chaos and through havoc. So that's that's kind of like the, the symptoms that I had, and I did not link it to implants, not even for not even for a moment. I thought, okay, maybe I live a very, you know, intense lifestyles. Maybe I am burned out. Maybe um, I got to slow down a little bit. So I just leaned in on Eastern medicine, surviving on acupuncture treatments, you know, juicing, constantly detoxing, right? But it was just like, um, just a miserable way to live, you know, just a, just a miserable way to live. Yeah, there's a, there's a great, um, yeah, absolutely, darling. So there is also different, there's a different types of implants, right? I thought I got the safest ones made of saline. So you can get silicone gel, silicone implant or saline implant. So I got the saline ones from uh, this company called Mentor. What I didn't know, you guys, and I wish more women understand that, that all implants have silicone in them. Saline implants have a silicone wrap around them. And a silicone is, has neurotoxins, right, that affects what? Your brain. This is why, you know, the number one symptom for women who suffer with breast implant um, symptoms is the inability to concentrate, is constant brain fog, right? You're just not yourself. So exactly, Gina says, yeah, exactly. They, you know, they're pushing salines and uh, saline implants. They say it's the best, it's the safest, you know, because it's a huge, huge business, you guys. And um, so the, the thing is like all implants have silicone. Silicone has neurotoxins and the silicone 
begins to leak in the body, creating mold. So just imagine you're walking around with mold inside your body. Not a beautiful picture at all. So once again, like I wish I had, I wish I, I saw these symptoms. And I wanted to read you just a little bit here, you guys. Silicone related diagnosis. The number one, autoimmune disease, right? When your immune system begins to attack itself. That is pretty scary, right? That is pretty scary. The, uh, the, the main complaints are fatigue, right? Fatigue, muscle aches, aching and painful joints, dry eyes, dry mouth, poor memory, concentration, or sleep. Like I would wake up with the with this, um, hot sweats quite often, you know, and yeah, it is very sad, you guys. And this is, you know, there is there are some women who are giving it a voice, and this is kind of my hope that my contribution will be uh, to women who give it a voice. There is lawsuits are happening, you know, and, um, but more than anything, you guys, it's awareness, 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 because there is, young woman out there who is considering going under the knife because she doesn't feel it's an, you know she's enough right i was i was one of those 10 years ago and uh, who doesn't understand the consequences of this choice right you're looking at around 10 grand to to get the surgery and then about 10 to 12000 to get them out recovery time right healing time detoxification time so it's a it's a really really important conversations to have allergies that's another symptoms food allergies digestion goes out of the window right like i the main struggle for me you guys right now is how many things are difficult for me to digest a lot of times i just eat mono meals you know like i'll eat carrots or cucumbers i'll eat just mono meals because that's the easiest thing for me to digest and uh it's you know it's 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 like a real challenge and the only time like literally you guys the only time i feel my very most optimal self when i juice when i go five day juice fast seven do, uh, day juice fast because it takes inflammation down Oh, thank you, Angel. She says, you look so beautiful the way you are. Thank you, darling. Yeah, my surgery, you guys, is in April. April 8th is my surgery. But, you know, I'm sharing, for those people who join you, I'm just sharing the symptoms of, of the breast implant illness. It's a foreign object in your body that creates huge inflammation in your body, right? And, um, and it affects your digestion, affects your hormones, affects um you know you may find yourself developing different food allergies right and it's just like a nightmare you guys it's a constant nightmare and it's a ticking bomb in your body it's a ticking bomb in your body i don't i don't believe there is any safe implants every woman has to make her own choice her own decision because you know once you make the decision all the shit comes up you know all the fears come up how my body is going to look you know you've been you've been carrying this particular image for 10 years or 15 years some women i know carried for 25 years the same implants can you imagine that so you know like i am i'm um, i'm working through it uh because i have all these tools you know i have the spiritual tools i have my visionary plant allies that i can go and lean into um, but for those women who are struggling, you guys, there are so many support groups. Find the community. There is a ton of them. And I know one woman who leads a movement. I'll post a link. And you can join the Facebook group where you can see women go through the process and they're supporting each other, right? So, you know, don't suffer in silence. I hope my share helps somebody to connect the dots. Once again, I wish... I saw such live stream five years ago, so I wouldn't wait 10. But you know, you guys, the, um, for me, it's exciting because I, you know, I feel like I found an answer. The, the number one thing that I want to kind of um, emphasize is that it's a ticking bomb in the body, and it's only a matter of time where it can lead to autoimmune disease. So the faster, you feel into it, make a decision, 
you know, the sooner you can recover. The good news, you guys, the good news is that 95% of women, um, no, 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 what I'm, what I'm trying to say, yeah, 95% of women who are going through explant surgery have most of their symptoms reversed. So the body is an intelligent, intelligent, holistic system, right? The moment we restore it back to its original design, the body knows how to repair itself. And what I also do, you guys, I use psychic, pranic healing on myself, where I talk to my organs, I visualize them in the emerald green light of Archangel Raphael. And, um, you know, and I literally going through this process of healing my body on the spiritual level first, you know, like I did this whole process where I asked my body for forgiveness. It was so powerful, guys. You know, it was so healing. Like I was holding myself and I was like, I'm so sorry. I put you, I put you through this. I'm so sorry. And I feel like that was my moment of, you know, deep healing with my own soul, holding my body and I say, you're so strong, you know, you're so strong and I'm so sorry I put you through this. Now, please forgive me. Um, I'm doing everything possible for us to heal. So I would say that's the number one. If you're going through explant, begin to really communicate with your body on a very, very conscious language, right? Yeah, sharing with your daughter. Yeah, you guys, so, so just super gentle, like the body is such an amazing, the body is so selfless. Body has a consciousness. The body is so selfless, it will let us kill it. Take this in, you guys. My brother Joshua helped me see it. The body loves us so much. The body serves us so much. It will even let us kill it, right? This is how much the body serves us. And what I invite all of us to begin to see that the body has consciousness and begin to engage with this, right? And then you guys, you're going to take it a little bit deeper for those of you who, who get it. You begin to see that every organ has consciousness. Every organ has, a, has, a, has consciousness. You begin to speak on the level of organs right so this is the core of pranic healing uh, from you know the yogic philosophy i had this book pranic healing for for many many years and you know sometimes you get these books you're like i know the time for you will come and my hand just naturally went for it and there was this description how you begin to talk to the consciousness of your cells so a really powerful process you guys really powerful process but um the, the main thing is also another symptom is depression and mood swings. And, you know, that's the hormonal, hormonal uh, chaos in your body. Um, this was also, you know, like women will suffer, will suffer in silence. Women tend to suffer in silence. I used to hide my uh, moments of depression so well, you guys. That was like my silent suffering, you know, because I would go through these giant, um, giant uh, changes in my state, you know, from, from being my happy, optimistic, super ambitious self to not being able to get out of my bed for you know for a day or two and then you go from like a high to a low and you don't know if you got, you're gonna have you're gonna have energy to generate for this big vision that your soul is asking you to fulfill so i'm making this choice because of my mission because of my assignment because of my purpose and my purpose is asking me, you know, it's like you're carrying a torch, right? You're carrying a torch and you gotta have, you got to have all the energy for the, for the mission. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody is asking. Yes, you guys, I am. I know I, I did a couple public posts about it. And some of the women said, Katarina, can you do a live stream about it? So, yeah, you guys, I am explanting. explanting. I've had my uh, implants for a little bit over than 10 years. And I did not see the link, you guys. I did not see the link for, the, for a really long time. Some part of me, after struggling with so, so many symptoms that I described, some part of me almost felt like giving up, like 
this is how it feels at 38. I'm like, okay, this is gonna be my health at 38. This is bullshit, you guys. Don't <laughs> catch that thought, turn it around, right? And, and say, I choose to be a radiant, healthy, and thriving woman and do not suffer in silence. The more we open a conversation about it, the more we support each other, the more we lead with transparency, you guys, the more we can support and prevent, you know, the young generation making these very, very um, poor decisions, you know, really poor decisions. So, because, you know, just look at Instagram, look at this obsession with butts, Look at the influencers on Instagram. What are they influencing us with? Right? How easy it is to claim the, the title of an Instagram influencer, but what are you influencing with? So that's the question that I'm asking you guys. And, um, you know, like for the new generation, for the new generation, for so we embrace our bodies just the way they are. And uh, I cannot change the past, but I absolutely change the, can change my future by making a very powerful decision now. So, so this is the process, you guys. The good news, my loves, the good news is that over 95% symptoms go in reverse. And if you apply spiritual healing, if you apply pranic healing, if you begin to talk to your body immediately, right? And loving your body. Like I, this is what I do, you guys. Once a day, I take all my clothes off, stand in front of the mirror, and I say, I love you, body. You are glorious. I love you just as you are with the extra curves, you know, and, and this little wrinkle here. I love that too, you know. <laughs> and you guys, like, you got to love up, love on your vehicle, right? The vehicle of expression of your divine consciousness, this amazing, amazing vehicle. So, yeah, loving upon yourself, like, you know, be like in awe of yourself, be in awe of every scar, you know, I have a scar on my nose, you guys, I, 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 I learned some of the most powerful lessons in the most extreme ways. So I have a scar on my nose, you guys, where I was 25 and I lost consciousness and I fell uh, straight down on the marble floor, face down. Imagine that. And I don't know how my, my angels were protecting me that I didn't knock off all my teeth, but I did got a huge scar on my face and um, on my nose at 25. And you know, you guys, for the longest time, I had, this, I had this irrational fear when I was a little girl. What if something happens to my face? And that fear manifested. So I'm a big believer. Examine your fears. Know your fears so intimately sit with them before they manifest as an unconscious event in your life, right? So it was, it was a really powerful experience when I woke up in the, in the, in the, in the hospital and my, my nose was split open and I had to wear these bandages. It was awful, you guys. It was awful, right? But what it taught me, taught me to catch the fear, to be with the fear, to get to know the fear before it's going to express itself as an unconscious event that we call fate, right? So, um, <laughs> I don't know. So next steps, you guys, next steps. The main thing is I, I, I would like this message to be very, very um, optimistic and hopeful. Yes, there are symptoms. Yes, it's a ticking bomb in your body. Yes, the, the worst case scenario is to develop autoimmune disease if you, if you don't do anything, right? And it's like, for me, just the image of ticking bomb in my body, that doesn't sit well with me the moment I put two and two together. So the, what's the next step? The next step is, of course, take it out of the body, right? The main thing, you guys, when you look for the right surgeon, um, there is a great website called thebreastimplantillness.com. And all the surgeons who perform the right type of surgery are listed there, right? Because you got to perform a specific surgery called the end block, end block, which means, you know, they're going to take out all the scar tissue, all, you know, all the things that do not belong to your body. And the beautiful thing, ladies, that 
it's such a huge uh, momentum right now, so many women putting this two and two together, that some surgeons only do explant surgery. This is how much of in-demand it's happening right now. So it took me about uh, five months to wait for, 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 for next available surgery. Imagine that. This is, this is what's, what's happening. And um, let's see, can you tell us what options they gave you for explant? Yeah, you know, you, you basically, I, um, I ask my, my higher self to be guided to, to the surgeon that, you know, that's going to do the best job for me. So I, I chose Dr. Rankin in Florida, in Jupiter. He created this special technique, you guys, when, because, you know, like when you take the implants out, you're going to have a lot of extra skin, right? Obviously. So you, what you got to do, you got to do the, the lift surgery. So you got to take it out and you're going to do the lift as well, right? So the doctor that I'm going to, he invented this technique called tissue wraparound. So it's going to almost look like a smaller size implant, right? So that's the first step. That's the first step. And the second step, ladies, we have good news. You can also do fat transfer to bring volume to your breast. Not right away, about six months after the surgery. That is amazing. I think this is amazing news. Take some fat cells from the booty and put it in your natural breast to have some volume. So there's options. And I really want this message to be optimistic for those women who would like to go through this process and may, you know, be at loss, like, what do I do and what's the next step? So you're looking at, you know, out of all the research that I've done, you're looking at um, a good six months to about two years of healing process. And some of the ladies who went through the explant, I would love to hear your, uh, your perspective on how long it took you to heal how long it took you to heal. But what I, what I, you know, based on what I've read, you guys, it's like, um, you know, the first month is, is the month in the month where you have to really be gentle with yourself and take care of yourself, receive more support, right? Um, and then at six months, your, your body adjusting and you're looking better and better and better. And uh, most, most women say everything comes back to normal about a year, sometimes two years. Yeah, so this is a process, my loves. Think twice. Think twice, you know. Um, and, and another thing, too, is um, how, it will, how it will change your romantic life. I don't know why I want to go there. But um, let's see. Hmm. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Thank you, you guys. Yeah. You know, I think like the, the, the right partner will support your choice. The right partner will support your choice and will encourage you to choose health over aesthetics, you know, and I also hope that some men who watch this live stream will take that as a great, um, you know, information when um, not to support women to take to make that choice because men also are unaware of that. You know, they're like, yeah, honey, you want this? Of course, go for it. It's going to look fabulous. It's going to be so much fun for me to play with this, right? So I hope men who watch this, you know, just help women who are blinded, right, by the vision of this glorious, perfect image of the body, right? Um, help them just really consider everything that comes with that choice everything that comes with the choice and the right man will will encourage that you got you know you know um i actually <laughs> i am so um you know it's like i'm at the point of my life where like i am i'm so at peace with who i am and the choices that i make that i really don't care if it's gonna scare away somebody or if like i would rather have them be scared away as soon as possible. So I was on a date. Um, I was on a date, you guys, last week, and this is a comedy show. But I actually told the guy on the first date that I'm going through explant surgery, and I wanted to see if this is gonna scare him away or not. And the beautiful thing, he was like, "I am so proud of you that you're doing this. This is amazing." He's like, "I don't like implants." 
at all. I, and it's like, I'm so in full support that you're doing this. My jar dropped, of course, guys, because I was like, I'm taking the risk. I'm going total like, you know, this is going to be a big grenade. Can you handle this? This is going to be a great check. <laughs> the right man will handle it and will appreciate and honor you for choosing your health. And it's a great way to see if that's the right person for you or not. You know how my friend Tony T. Garden likes to say, offend them early. Offend them early, be true to yourself, honor and celebrate every scar that you have on your body. You know, like I will have scars. Yes, they will heal. Yes, I'm choosing the best surgeon. And you guys, I will wear those scars with great honor because they taught me so much. You know, they taught me that true self-worth and true self-esteem and true beauty of a woman comes from within only 100% of the time. You know, how many stunning, gorgeous women that you've seen and their energy and their emotional body and all the wounds are so not healed that that external beauty doesn't do anything. But when a woman heals herself, a woman loves herself, knows herself, there's this irresistible magnetism, right? Because when the woman is at ease with who she is, she's impossible to forget, you know? So, yes, I am. Yvonne says, I'm proud of my scars. Exactly. And you guys, I am proud of every scar that I will have on my body because, you know, every scar tells a story and every scar has a powerful story. So um, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. You know, just do your research. Do your research. The main thing is you only have one immune system, you know, and if you compromise your immune system, everything just kind of, it's like a domino effect, right? A domino effect. And um, there will be fear, of course. Uh, this is the great opportunity to get really strong with your spiritual practice. Whenever you're going through experiences like that or you have somebody going through experiences like that, this is, you know, it's going to bring you closer to spirit. I've had uh, two surgeries in my life, and every single one of them was such a surrender sandwich, you know, where you really, you're like, uh, this is very vulnerable experience, and every time I know how divinely protected we all are. So I see it as a great opportunity to become even closer to my spiritual practice and also to receive help, you know? It feels good to receive so much help and so much support. And um, uh, so please share this live stream for those women who you know in your life who would love to hear this message. And um, just make, you know, just really sit with your decisions. Don't alter your body on the impulse and you know with the blind um blind illusion of how your life will be different when you add that part of your body or that part of the body you know the consequences are more more enormous than we realize right you guys so and i hope i hope it inspires somebody who um who already went through this process you guys share your journey share your voice my best friend um, my best friend is encouraging me to file a lawsuit. I'm not, I don't know, you guys, I don't know if I'm going to go that route or not. My best friend says, go add your voice to this. You know, it's a revolution because it's a huge business. We'll see. I'm feeling into it, you know. Um, maybe I'll go that route. Um, we'll see. But there is also, you know, there is a law firms who um, who support women and who help you file lawsuits against you know against these corporations but the main thing is like i really believe there is no such a thing as safe implant and um the 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 you know the honest thing is that all these symptoms go uh you know they're kind of underneath and you just feel like you're not yourself you know and eventually you you don't remember how good it feels to feel good so you kind of, it's like a silent, um, it's a silent suffering. So there is another way. And I hope what I shared, um, you know, brought some hope and inspiration to you guys. 
because I know every, how many women I know, at least, at least 10 women I know in my life who have implants. So it's, it's a really, really big, big topic and a big conversation. And I just say, you know, choose wisely. Choose your choices wisely. Thank you for sharing uh, with me. Thank you for sharing this time, you guys. And thank you for all your support. Um, I'll put some links in the comments. Uh, the main one is breastimplantillness.com. This is the most comprehensive website that I found where you can just look and, and see and feel. When I saw the, the, the list of symptoms, I had cold sweat moment. Absolutely. I was like, holy macaroni. This is it. All of it. You know? And, and, and also, like, you go to a normal medical doctor and you run all the tests, all the tests will go normal, right? Because it's like, it's very difficult to, to put all of the symptoms on the test. Very, very difficult, right? So you're like, nothing is wrong with you, but I feel like a, you know, half alive. How, can, how could it be? So find the support. There's many, many groups. Uh, one of them is, um, I'll post the link, join the Facebook group, find the community that can support you. And don't suffer in silence. Women, ladies, my dear sisters, we have an opportunity to be the role model that we don't suffer in silence anymore. We really can, you know, make our voice be, be heard, right? And, um, and also, you know, encourage, encourage other women to share. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Let me take a look at your, maybe there's questions. I know there's a lot of comments here. Yeah, depression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys, thank you for sharing. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. And, you know, like I, I also follow on Instagram, if you look at the hashtag explant, explant journey, yeah, I think it's called explant journey. Take a look at the, all the photos and how women say, okay, this was me 15 weeks after explant. This is me two weeks after. It's, it's very inspiring. You can see the inflammation just falling off them. You know, you can see how the weight just falls off because it's inflammation, right? And your skin changes. Everything just begins to change. And you feel like, oh, my God, I got my life back. So I hope it inspires you. And uh, begin your healing journey, you guys. And uh, thank you so much for sharing this time with me. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs>